allows you to merge table cells horizontally, spanning them across multiple columns. It essentially combines the content and formatting of the specified cells into a single larger cell. Here's how it works. Structure. The call span attribute is used within the less than td greater than or less than th greater than elements that define table cells. It takes a positive integer value representing the number of columns the cell should span. Example. In this example, cell 2 will span across the next two columns, combining the content and formatting of the original cell and the two cells to its right. Key points. You can only use call span within less than td greater than or less than th greater than elements. The specified cell and the cells it spans lose their individual borders, creating a single larger cell. The content of the cell with call span is displayed first, followed by the content of the spanned cells, if any. You can use row span attribute to merge cells vertically across rows. Use call span judiciously, as excessive merging can affect table structure and accessibility. Benefits. Create wider headers or data cells spanning multiple columns for better presentation. Simplify complex table layouts with fewer cells for easier maintenance. Enhance readability for specific data elements requiring wider space. Things to consider. Avoid excessive call span usage, as it can make tables hard to understand and navigate, especially for screen readers. Ensure proper accessibility by using clear heading structures and appropriate scope attribute for headers spanning multiple columns. Consider alternative layouts using CSS Grid or Flexbox for more complex or responsive designs. By understanding the call span attribute and its implications, you can effectively structure your HTML tables for improved presentation, data organization, and accessibility.